Hey, I'm back. Let's see. Done several things. A little bit more red and orange and um, kind of a combination of uh, some violet mixes with Quinn Rose and Ultramarine Blue. Refer back to the, uh, the color studies for, for those. Um, added more orange and yellow orange to the orange. <laughs> That's fun to say. Um, and as well as a little bit more grapes, I worked on the bowl a little bit, a little bit more, another layer very gently, but and then mixing in a bunch of ultramarine blue and a little bit of the indigo to get this really dark blue-black kind of color. Um, you can see right here it went over a little bit. Um, I think that's the first thing I'm going to address is this uh, this background part for a couple reasons. I want to clean up, I want to clean, both clean up the edge, you know, that, that there, as well as make sure that there's not a transition there's not this sort of white, this lighter area of table. I don't want that to take attention. That's creating a little bit of contrast of value that I don't want to take away from the, the main stars of the painting. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is 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 think of it conceptually. I'm, I'm both just going to wet the shape with water. as well as um, agitate that little blurb, that little part that went a little too far. Sort of try to scrub that out. And um, I'm saying um too much, but besides that, I'm also overlapping here on the the bowl and the table. That was a question and is a question that kind of comes up as, as far as how do you not get that white lined outlining effect on everything. So, so let's see. So all I've done is kind of With the shape and kind of redefining it, doing it's, it's sort of scrubbing, sort of painting what's with what's there. I'm not so worried about lifting up color in this shape. Obviously, I, like I am in some other shapes. Um, I should probably introduce some actual paint. It's getting a little bit dry over there, but let's let's see what happens here. So I want to keep darkening this area down with some quinacridone burnt orange. And let me see, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Sort of a comp this this dark violet brown is is like I think I've already mentioned. Oops. Oh well. Basically mixing up a violet with some that's very not violet and very dull color because there was a lot of brown still in that brush. If I wanted to make that a little bit more easy to kind of see what I'm doing, I'm going to grab a little bit of Quinn Rose down there and then a little bit of Ultramarine Blue down there. That's a little bit more actual purple, violet, 
still some brown in there, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do now um, is actually bring in a little bit of that cornacrid on burnt orange, and that's this. Hopefully, you've already played with this color, but it's some violety brown. Tape is getting pretty uh, messy. And I want to uh, do something like this. So I was blabbing a little too much while um, the paper was drying from wetting it, but that's that's to be expected a little bit, <laughs> at least by me. So, um, I'm once again shifting it around, rolling it around, trying to get the coax the uh, coax the color to where I want it to be, and I want it to be darkest as it gets right up next to the um, to the bowl, and indeed sort of overlap the bowl a little bit. I'm gonna get out my smaller brush and still get some cornacrid and burnt orange mixed with my violet mix. And I'm using this smaller one to bring in darker, more concentrated pigment without introducing a bunch more water. This is a number two synthetic round. This actually happens to be one by uh, Robert Simmons Brush Company. They make nice synthetic white tack lawn brushes. Tack lawn is the, I believe, the name for the synthetic nylon that's used. You can see it's a little bit of a dropping in darker color where I want and then holding it at an angle such that the uh, gravity is going to help keep the dark color where, where I want it. This is right here is mostly just a bunch of water, not necessarily a lot of really dark pigment. So I'm gonna you saw me make a thirsty brush even though this is small. Hmm, that may have been introducing a bunch more water, a little bit of dark pigment. Anyways, I'm gonna let it do its thing. Like that. Am I going to do that? No, I'm not. I am going to do this though. Let's try to. I'm going very gently. Not quite gently enough. It's sort of lifted some up. But I'm going to let the. Uh, I'm going to let that dry like that. And that's going to be the finish for the background. Not the background, I'm sorry, the table. Um, the background table. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me stop for a sec and dry it off and get to some more stuff.